Hello, Massachusetts. It's Mr. Friend and Guitar Man, and we are going to take a little bit of a, a change tonight, and you're going to love this, man. We're going to jam with the man himself, Mr. Muddy Waters, on some blues. Now, we're going to have to come, we're going to come back later and do the shape four, like we talked about, on the E minor blues, but on this, this is in the key of C, so we're going to do it in shape one to make it easier. Um, come up to fret number eight on your sixth string. All the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there with your first finger. And that's a C note. There are some funky notes in here because there's some flats and stuff, but don't worry about that. All you have to do is go eight, and then to fret 11. So get your guitars out. Hopefully you got an electric because it's up there and waves. You got an acoustic. That's okay, man. It's going to work. 8 to 11. We're going to be jamming with a piano, some harmonicas. Some, he does some stops like he does. It, the song is uh, going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. And sometimes it goes... <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You'll hear some stops in here, some harmonica jamming with us. This is going to be fun, all right? So this is going to be a little break and some fun for you. So 1 to 4, 8 to 11, and then 8 to 10. On the 5th th string, on the 4th string, same thing, 8 to 10. On the 3rd string, 8 to 10. And remember, on fret 10, you can bend it a, a 1 fret, which would be up to here. And then back down. You always want to resolve it, okay? Or you could just pick it. Then we're gonna go down to uh, fret number eight again on the second string into 11. First string, eight to 11. Back, we're going to go 11-8, 11-8 on 2, 10-8 on 3, 10-8 on 4, 10-8 on 5, 11-8 on 6. So now let's just go 3 at a time quick. Let's just get a little comfortable with this, okay? We're going to go 8-11 and then 8 on the 5th. going to go 11 and then 8 on the 5th and 10 on the 5th. Now we're going to go 8 to 10 on the 5th and then 8 on the 4th. I'm using a flat pick and I'm kind of alternating it up and down. Um, you can very well uh, do this with just your fingers. Um, you know, use your thumb. Uh, now we're going to go 10th uh, fret on the 5th string, and then 8th fret on the 4th, and 10th on the 4th. I have to be a little quiet tonight. It's getting late and people are trying to sleep. So um, that's okay, man. Well, it's fine. You can crank it as long as you want. It's your house, man. Can you crank it? Um, if you have YouTube, you, mm, you can catch this uh, Muddy Waters jam on Kansas City. Catch it. Um, that's what I got on here. Okay, then we're going to go down to third fret, 8, 10, and then 8 on the second. And then we're going to go 10, 8, 11. On the 8, 11 on the second string. Then we're going to go 8, 11, 8 on the first. Then 11, 8, 11 on the first. 11 on the second, 8, 11 on the first. 
and then we're gonna go eight eleven. If you want to go higher, go on up to the thirteenth fret, which is if you have two dots, you see the two dots, go up to the fret after that. And you have those two. You can trill them, it's pretty cool. And then from there, go up to the G, which is the 15th fret here. Good slide right there. Going from 11, 13, into the 15. Then we're gonna go up to fret 17, which is the A note. It's pretty far up there, and into fret 19, which is way up here. And that's as far as I can go. I don't have a fret 22 on this on this strat here. Um, that, you know, if you want to use your fingers, you can. I'm gonna use a pick because I find it, um, you know, a little. I don't know. I'm just used to it um, on playing the electric on that. But let's go. Let's get some backtracking on. Don't forget now, eight. Okay. 8th fret, 11, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10. Let's try, you know, review that again. 8, 11, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10. 8, 11, 8, 11. And let's pick up B.B. King. He should be pretty easy to get right here. Here we go, B.B. We're right here, man. Yeah. So you can hear his vocals too. Yeah. Hope you can hear that. Here comes the harmonica, you hear it? Here's a stop right there. down the third string, eight to 10. And then eight to 10 on the fourth. And you can go a little higher too, like 11, I'm going 11, and I'm gonna to go to 13. Thirteen on the first and second string. Now I'm going on the fourteenth fret on the third, thirteenth on the second. I'm going to start with twelve on the third. It's a 14 up on 4th fret too, so I'm in that area. Uh oh. 
You know what they do? They got a freaking commercial coming on here in the middle. No problem. Take two seconds. Hi, buddy. And here we go, man. Let's go back to the basics here. Eight to eleven. Go down to the first string. Hit the eighth fret across both strings. First and second. Now go to the eleventh and do the same thing. Right across both frets with your fourth finger. Now, let's go up to the third string. I'm on the eighth fret, second and third string. A little basic, like 8, 11, 8, 8, 10, but real quick. Uh, just if you want a little rhythm on this, okay? Real easy. Start with a C chord down here. Or, uh, stay right here while the piano is going. Now the F chord. And a C. Now a G. F. C. G. Here we go. Again. Now see this guy here, he played around 8 and 11. He played here. He played the wheel. Then up to 90. Then I go to uh, like the 16 on the third string. And now to the 14th fret. And 12. Here come the keys. Back to the eighth fret here. Yeah. What do you want? 
didn't care at me, he just said, you know, I just didn't send a little staccato picking me, like, muffin, picking a muffin everywhere. Right where. He can hear that morning, but he See if I can get another one. Just to give you a little glimpse of them. Yeah, shoot. Are you still wearing enough layers to insulate the last? I think I missed the planet. That's why you need the new and improved bear skin hoodie. The six pocket bears. Oh, here's the meal. Ooh. Let's just jam on this for a couple of seconds, okay? Now, all we're going to do is E minor to A, right? So, you can play this, like, down in the first position with those open strings that we did, just like this.
Kids up on 12 right now and 15 right there. And you're going 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14. Just like the first position we didn't see, but it's up just a little bit. And then 12, 15, 12, 15. Bend that D up two frets at each. He's awesome, man. Let me turn this around a bit just so you can check him out. Just enjoy Neil for a minute, okay? Just watch what he's doing. Watch the scales he's doing. Now, he's playing with Crazy Horse, I believe. So you see if you can see it a little better. Yeah, all right. seen this side of Neil. Um, probably seen a lot of his quiet folk stuff, but he can really pick some butt when he's jamming. He had a great time. He played with Pearl Jam for a while. Remember he did that tour with Pearl Jam? Oh, that's sweet. And he's right down in first position. All he's doing right down here is bending that A on the second fret of the third string, too. And then mainly the second fret of the fourth. And octave, E minor to A. Okay, yep. E minor, A. E minor, A. C. B minor, C again, B minor again, C, B minor, and into a D. Now G, D, A, G, D, A. G, D, A. Now back to the E minor, he's winning. Look at that, yeah, he really takes off of this. He's down now, he's going, let's see. Now that he's down by the 12th fret. Oh yeah, yeah. Like 12 and 15 and 12 and 14 right around here. Try it out, try it out, man. See what happens, see what we get. He's tuned to regular standard tuning too. Wow, man. It's good. Huh. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's playing a lot of song. Oh, that's good. It's definitely a hit to me. Yeah, 
ourselves a five string bass there, maybe? I don't know, I can't see it. One, two, yeah, that's like five, five strings. These are all down in the first position. See that right there? And sliding into that, remember the second shape we did? Which went second on third to fifth, first to fourth, first to fourth, first to third, second of, uh, third to fifth, third to fifth. He's on, he's on that, shape, that shape a little bit too. To hit that e, that e note on the second string on the fifth fret. You can pick that with the open E on the first. He's, he's not a complicated player at all. He's, he's just incredible. Incredible talent. A great songwriter, man. I, mean, uh, I think Bob Dylan's probably written more songs, but Neil's probably a close second. Well, I'm sure there's a few others up there too, you know. Yeah, he's spinning his strings up like, like two frets. The other guy's just hanging out in that first position. And how many drummers they got? One, hit one, yeah? I, wonder, it's, I think they're jamming on Neil's property up in his uh, prairie Canadian land there. He has a barn that they jam on. It's crazy barn. I, or maybe a concert, I'm not sure. This looks like a concert. Okay, uh, let's jam on just a couple seconds more. I'm going over, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it because this is so cool. He's gonna slow way down here. second down on the third fret. Then on the fifth fret. It's E minor to G. E minor again. E minor. He plays that A6 when he goes at A. Like that, that's adding the, the Third fret on the second string. Allison Chain says that one, too. That's a C, C right here, C. B minor. C. B minor. G. Now G. Down by the A. G. G. Hey, I'm playing some bond chords here, like, like power chords. G, G, fifth fret, A, fifth fret. Now back to E minor. Oh no, he does it again. He goes a little longer right here, he hangs out. Yeah. Keep doing it. There's that little strum at the end, you hear that? No, 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 Yeah, man, that was awesome. Hey, folks, I hope that you enjoyed and had a good time this lesson. I hope you learned something from Money Waters and from Neil. Um, I'll write it up for you, okay? 
I love you guys. We're at Wacky Wednesday Jammers, man. I hope you had a great time tonight. I know it was a lot of fun. Listen to this, man. He's going crazy here. I wish I can't seem to get. I, you guys should be into this, yeah? Sorry. You can, you can tune out if you want. It's all right, man. Sorry if you get too late. Yeah, he's got an audience here. Yeah, I don't know where he is. I bet, I bet they go into after this. Maybe, um, hmm. Maybe. Probably want to stand or something? Okay, all right. I'm not going to worry about it. Love you guys. Have a great day tomorrow, too.